So one of the best way for you to have your chat interacted to your stream is by using commands or also any channel points to allow you to have uh, your source on your OBS and your uh, filters to be toggled by your chat to give you better interaction on your stream. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use that using a software Lumia Stream, which is very famous for uh, lights, effects, and also now with OBS uh, interaction, you can do that in a very simple way on the software. Let's go ahead and take a look. So welcome to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to uh, like this video if it is going to help you. And if you would like to see more videos like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well and help this channel to grow and support. So right now we are on uh, Lumia Stream uh, program right here, the software. If you don't know or where to download, I'm going to leave on the description below the link so you can go ahead and download the software. Also, this uh, what we're going to show you on the OBS is for a premium version, not the free version. So considering you have on a premium version because you're going to be missing a lot of stuff, to be honest, worth the value. And we just scratching the, the surface on this channel. You're going to need a, uh, a web socket as well. So you can go ahead and connect your OBS to Lumia. I'm also going to leave it that is in the description below the link so you can go straight to the old web socket from OBS to connect it to Lumia. You're going to go here in connections. You're going to go to add new connection. And when you add a new connection, you're going to search for OBS Studio, which is right here. And once you uh, connect your OBS Studio to Lumia, uh, it's going to refresh automatically. And when you do that, when you go to the dashboard, you're going to see right here on the right corner that OBS should be connected with the check green mark right here. OK, if that's a check like this, you connect perfectly fine. So it's all good. So what we're going to start to doing, I'm going to show you an effect that you can add it to your stream. It's very simple, but I'm going to show you how you can use that as a chat command and also channel points for your chat to use it or interact it to you in your stream. We're going to studio and on studio, you're going to create a animation. So we're going to add animation. You're going to click and over here, click right here in color. I'm going to put no light change because it's not going to change any lights. You can add a, a audio for your effect if you want to, but today I'm not going to add any audio. I'm going to uh, add a video. Uh, so over here, you don't have to do anything, but you're going to go right here and manage OBS. That's where you're going to click it in here. That's where you're going to tell OBS to tug on and off your source. But before you go in here, I want to go to OBS first because we need to actually add it on OBS a, um, a effect, a video. So you're going to go here in source, click plus. I'm going to go add a source at a media source. OK, it's a video. So add a media source, make sure that uh, make source not visible because you're going to talk on and then talk off. So make sure it's off right here. I'll just put a, a test effect just for uh, the tutorial. And then I'm going to click OK and I'm going to browse my source. What is the video at? And it is on my desktop I already put over here. And since this is a um, a, uh, I'll make sure you use hardware as well. The decoding available. That's important. Um, it's not going to be a loop video. So I just did not put a loop video right there. Uh, and that's it. That should be good. You're going to apply. And you're going to see it. That is going to, if I toggle, is green. It's all green. So I don't want it to be all green. So because it's a, it's a green screen, you want it to right click and you want to add a filter and then you want to add a chroma key uh, for that. So we can eliminate the green uh, background, click uh, close. And if you look right now, it's only the effect that I wanted to put it in. So now the effect is off. So we wanted to tell the chat how to do this. We're going back to Lumi stream. And the same page here, let me just show exactly how we went. We went from you add an animation. 
make sure you add uh the name of the animation i'm gonna put um i'm gonna put test effect okay and if you look closer over right here under um right in the line here it say create check command so everything you're going to do here is going to be adding to your check command okay uh to your software right here it's gonna go to manage obs and manage obs right here that's where you're going to uh, apply the effect you're gonna go to type and you're gonna look for a source visibility set and then you go to the scene that is that that we put the effect we put on the web web page stream pc right there and then source it should appear right here the one that we just create as you can see right here is not there why because we need to refresh and I turn on and turn off Lumi stream so what we're gonna do we're gonna close let's turn on turn off and turn back on and we're gonna go back to animated and we go back here to manage OBS and then go back here to where we need to toggle the source visibility set right there scenes we're gonna go to the scenes that we apply the video web page stream pc and source now you see right here test effect so you're gonna put test effect we're going to add it so right here make sure that visibility is on so you're gonna toggle that so we're gonna add it so it's right here down the bottom right here so now we're gonna click end and we're gonna go back again to source visibility set the same scene that we create which he, this right here and the source back again test effect and it's going to turn off the visibility is off right here so and the end of this effect okay so you click done so over here we're gonna again we're gonna put tax test effect okay click done and refresh and you're going to actually see it when you go back here from studio click studio go to commands and you're gonna see that is already a uh, command maker right here so if you see right here is already a command test effect but i wanted to actually um i want to just to make sure that the uh, command only say test okay you can change this whatever you want right here description for a command page is lumia have a command page or all your commands you can actually put right here what the commands means to the people for use it i'm not putting anything right now uh and uh now the duration is you that's where you want to know how long the video to be run so i'm going you can do one cycle but I'm going to do a duration instead of cycle. So I want it to have for about, I don't know, five seconds, right? Around five seconds. Uh, over here, you can, for that command, you can actually, um, you can, uh, for, uh, you can use for all of the followers or you, uh, if you want only the tier one sub all the way to mod in user, or you can only have a VIPs you you do whatever you wanted to do it in here so you give the comments to whoever you want and and uh, it's pretty much you just apply refresh and now we're gonna go back to um to our um right here to our um to our obs we're gonna type test there we go that's the effect and it's going to be probably doing for about five seconds and it's going to turn on automatically. And uh, this is how you actually can have the chat to use Lumi Streaming to turn on and turn off. It's a very easy way to do that. Uh, it allows the chat to, you know, you can create with a lot of stuff. You can use effects, you can com combine a video with your lights. So I hope this video was very, very useful for you. If you got any questions, don't forget to let me know on the comments below. Or also, you can join us on a Discord. We also stream on Twitch Monday to Friday. Just go ahead and check it out, our effects as well. Thank you so much for coming and thank you so much for watching the video. And I'll see you on the next one.